quiz time. How well do you know your concept too? First off, if this is your first time here, welcome to Dark Horse, where you are the hero of your own story, and we are the guide that helps you get to exactly where you want to go. Now, with that being said, let's get into the quiz. Here are the nitty gritty details. I'm gonna give you 10 questions about Concept2 machines. You have to answer them as we go. No fair bumping to the end where all of the answers are listed. Don't you do it. You gotta wait. You gotta answer them yourself. See how well you do at the end. I will give the answers and then you will check them against your answers. And I have a little nice sorting for what kind of Concept2 owner you are. Let's see how it goes. Here are the questions. Okay, here are your questions. Again, answer ahead of time, no cheating and skipping to the answers. I have my questions right here because I didn't, there's no way I'm gonna memorize 10 questions. Why would I do that? 10 questions, let's rock it through them. Number one, between workouts, in what position is it recommended that you store your rowing machine? Number two, what oil is recommended with which to lubricate the rowing machine chain? Number three, what weight and dimension is the Concept2 Model D? probably their most popular model. Number four, what prize does Concept2 send you when you log 10 million meters on that machine? Number five, what is the estimated assembly time of a new Concept2 Model D out of the box? Number six, what denomination does the monitor naturally default to when setting splits for a workout? Number seven, this one's a little insider tip if you've been watching our videos lately, what kind of shape should you see when using the force curve for analysis? Number eight, what game gives you four minutes to accumulate as many points as possible? Number nine, what is the maximum number of rowing machines that can be wired together for an in-person competition? Number 10, what is the world record for a 2K? Not on sliders. All right, let us proceed with the answers. Number one, in what position should you store your rowing machine in between workouts or basically when it's not being used? The answer is broken in two parts and stored next to each other up on end. We would also accept if you are perhaps in between just day, like workouts of a day, perhaps you own a gym, you can store the machine vertically as well. We would also accept with the handle into the cage, not in the catch. I'd take any three of those answers would be okay answers. The reason being, number one, why we would break the machine apart. It's safest to be stored that way so that you don't have a very tall lumbering object that could potentially be tipped over if somebody were to hit it. However, if during the day you are storing the machine as one unit tilted upright, that's okay as well. Um, it stays out of the way, but for a more permanent and safer solution, Prefer, we prefer to break them down. We being I, the royal we, this is simply me speaking here. Uh, this is not a Concept2 sponsor video, actually. We just have so many Concept2 fans, we figured it'd be a great quiz for all of you out there. Number two, what oil should you use to oil the chain? Very simple answer on this one. Three in one oil or 20W motor oil. Some people may say Concept2 oil. Well, yes, that is most likely just three in one oil put in a Concept2 bottle. Still the same thing. So light coating, for those of you that don't know, light coating on a towel, you pull the handle all the way out. A partner is often recommended here. Have one person pull the handle all the way out gently. Once it's out, you take that rag and you just give it a nice light coating all the way up and down the chain and then run the chain through about 20 aggressive strokes to just work that oil into the system. Number three, what are the weight and dimensions of a Concept2 Model D? Yeah, this is a very specific one. I frankly would not be surprised. If you didn't know this, I only know it because I have carried this machine up many mountains and into very weird places. And so I know exactly how large it is and the size of it as far as weight goes. It is a 57 pound machine once it has all been assembled and it is eight foot by two foot. That means that for your purposes of storage, understand you've got eight foot by two foot as a footprint to deal with, unless of course you go back to number one and we're splitting the machine apart for storage, but 57 pounds and eight feet by two feet is the answer. Question number four, what does Concept2 send you when you have accumulated 10 million meters on their machines? 10 million meters. I actually just watched that movie the other day for the first time. Still funny. Anyways, the answer is a Concept2 sweatshirt. I had definitely not earned mine yet. I haven't gotten there, but for those who have, 
you are a special select few. Show your hands in the comments if you have logged over, let's say if you've logged over a million meters. Show your hands in the comments. I wanna know who you are. Number five, what is the estimated assembly time for a Concept2 Model D out of the box? 20 to 30 minutes. Pretty easy answer. The more comfortable you get with it though, the faster the thing goes, because it's eight bolts, three leg pieces, and then once those are assembled with four bolts, the other four bolts are dedicated to just attaching that to the machine. So if you've got 10 of them, by the time you're on the last one, you're five minutes of assembly time. Not bad at all. Number six, what is the default split setting on workouts on the machine? Well, the answer is that the machine will naturally give a split of one fifth of the workout. So if you program 5,000 meters, the splits are going to be 1,000 meter splits. So it's gonna measure what's happening every 1,000 meters. Now that is on top of, of course, the 500 meter split that it is constantly measuring. But it will measure a second split and that is a split that you can actually adjust if you want to as you're setting up the workout. So when you're in the setup screen, if you look at the bottom, you'll often see change split length, in which case it's asking you, do you wanna just use the standard, which is fifths, or do you wanna set some kind of special measurement? The only caveat there is if you are on a standard workout, for example, a 2K, it's going to measure every 500 meters. Or a, half, or a marathon, for example, 42,195 meters, it's gonna measure every 2,000. So that is something to be aware of if you wanna acquire your own specialized data per workout. Question number seven, what shape should you be looking for when you are using the force curve as an analysis tool? I hope you've been watching our videos recently because this one should be an easy, easy answer. If not, watch the video that gets linked somewhere right about now. The answer, a haystack. And if you're wondering why, go watch that video. I'm not gonna explain any further. Question number eight, what game gives you four minutes to accumulate as many points as possible? The answer on that, the fish game, the classic game that you may not even know is present in the monitor. Did you know that there are games there? Fun fact, fun story. Uh, I got to sit down when we opened the online trainers course for Concept2 three years ago now. When we opened it, I had, uh, I had a sit down with Peter Dreisgacker of uh, Concept2, one of the founders, and I actually asked about the fish game because I was curious, why the fish game? I mean, I'd never used it as a rower. Why is it in there? What is the purpose that it serves? His answer, it was actually put there to encourage children to play with the machine and to be able to explore fitness and give them a reason to use it. So it wasn't just an adult's fitness machine. It was something that kids could get into as well. And I think that's a pretty cool answer. For those of you that know, I have a two-year-old daughter. And if you go check out my Instagram, at Shane Farmer, or at Dark Horse Rowing, it'll probably be on either. I just posted a photo of uh, me and my daughter sitting on the machine together and she sees me working out on it and I hope that soon she'll find an interest as well. It's okay if she doesn't, I still love her. Question number nine, how many ergs or rowing machines can be linked together in a single daisy chain for a standard in-person event? The number, 40 machines. That's a lot of machines and good luck finding a venue that'll host all of those machines. If you haven't seen it before, I highly suggest you check out a competition in person at some point like Crash Bees or the World Indoor Rowing Championships. It's just cool to see that many people who are this passionate about indoor rowing get on a platform where they can compete and test to just see who's really at the top of their game right now. Question number 10, what is the world record for a 2K on a Concept2 machine without slides? The answer, it was set by Josh Dunkley Smith, who was testing for the Australian national team, and 535.8 was the time. That is a 123.9 split, and that is absolutely unbelievable. It's actually believable because he, he did it, but it's stunning. That's what it is, it's stunning. All right, so how did you do? Let's see how you stacked up. We've got three classifications of quiz taker on this. If you got one to four questions right, let's consider you a Concept2 novice. Good job, you're at the get-go. If you got five to seven right, congratulations, I think you could probably handle customer support at Concept2. If you got eight to 10 questions right, my question for you is, how closely are you related to the Dreisigackers? Because that's impressive. I don't even think I could have done that. I had to look up a couple of these answers. I knew most of them. 
most. Would have done okay. Probably eight. Bottom threshold of the upper echelon. I feel like that's generally how we go. I hope you had some fun with this quiz. I just like putting this together because I know we have a large audience that uses Concept2 machines. For those of you that don't, let me know what machine you do use in the comments below so that I can help to get to know the company that you use a little bit better. And maybe I can offer you guys a quiz at some point in the near future. But as always guys, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this and you wanna be the hero of your own story and you want us to be the guy that helps you to get to where you wanna go, and you loved all of this and the people that are here and this amazing thing, then hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you get alerted when we come out with our next video. And I mean it when I say it from the bottom of my heart every time. I love you all. Thank you for being here. And we will see you on the other side.